Hi guys, welcome back. This is Network Ninja here. Today we are going to see how to restore backup on Alcatel Lucent switch. I already powered on the switch. I'm gonna log into the switch with default username and password. This is brand new switch with default configuration on it. With VLAN 1 and no IP interfaces. I am going to configure a temporary IP interface on this switch with a command IP interface temp address 192.168.1.100 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 and I am going to assign it to VLAN 1. I have connected my laptop to port 1 on the switch. We will also need one more command AAA authentication default local. This command will allow us to FTP to the switch with default username and password admin switch. Now I'm gonna make sure my laptop ethernet adapter is also on the same network as switch. I'm gonna put an IP interface of 192.168.1.2 on my laptop so that I can access the switch. Once this is done, I'm going to open command prompt and try to ping the IP address of the switch using command ping 192.168.1.100. As you can see, we can successfully ping the switch. Now I'm going to open FileZilla. In the host field, I will enter the IP address of the switch which is 192.168.1.100. Username is admin, in my case the password is switch and I am gonna try to connect to the switch. We have successfully connected to the switch. Now on the right hand side we have the switch directory. On the left hand side we have the desktop directory. I have old backup in this directory uh, with the name boot.cfg. I have another video on this on how to take a backup of Alcatel Lucent switch. If you haven't checked that video yet, I will add the link into the i button. Now we'll drag the boot.cfg file from the left hand side to the right hand side of in the working directory. Okay, the file has successfully copied. Just to verify, I'm gonna open the file boot.cfg on my computer. As you can see, this file has some configuration on it with some VLAN information. IP interfaces, etc. Now we'll go back to the switch. We'll make sure that the file we copied is successfully transferred to the working directory. Navigate to the working directory using command cd working. You can use ls command to list all the content in the directory. Here we have the file boot.cfg. I'm going to read this file using command more boot.cfg. As you can see, this is the exact same configuration what we saw in the notepad file. To activate this configuration on the switch, we will have to reboot our switch from the working directory. To do so, Use command reload working no rollback timeout. This will reboot the switch with the configuration in the file. I will fast forward the reboot process. I will see you in a bit. Okay, the switch is rebooted successfully. I am going to log back in with the default username and password admin switch. I am going to enter command show system. As you can see, we have exact same configuration what we had in the file with the same system name, system contact information, VLAN information and IP interfaces. To save this configuration to the working directory, we have to write a command write memory flash synchro. This will permanently save the configuration in the working directory. This is how you can successfully restore a configuration from a backup file. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I will see you in the next one. Till then, bye bye.